Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man X4. On the last episode, we defeated Magma Dragoon. In this episode, we're going to cyberspace to fight. God, I love doing that. So yeah, this is actually quite the tricky stage for the first part, um, as far as collectibles are concerned. So we have this little sensor around us, and these little balls. These things will trap you just like the web spider's web. You can only destroy them with the weapon you get from the split mushroom. That works for both Zero and X, as you can see there we got an extra life. If we were playing as X, that would be... I think it would be a sub tank. Which I will get into when we see. We have three of these to take down. Pretty much, if you're not using the uh, Split Mushrooms weapon for this, you just kinda, yeah, you're not gonna get S rank on all these, and you need S rank to get into those little chambers. It's determined solely by your time. Okay, so here we have a heart tank. That would have been the last room if we were playing as X, and this room would have been the sub tank. So the next room for Zero will have a sub tank, but it will have something else for X, which I will get to as we get there. This is the one where it's pretty much absolutely necessary to have the split mushrooms weapon if you don't have S rank. I think the other one might be pretty damn necessary too. I find zero is a bit easier. Mostly because you don't have to worry about uh weapon energy and stuff. Look at that. S rank on all. So in here we find a um a sub tank for zero. You can see it here. This is also this is what happens when you pause. You can fill that up, and in a pinch, we can use it and it'll refill our life. If we were playing as X, however, there would be the head parts in here. And I already went over those, but I'll say it again. They make it so that any non-charged special weapons you use as X will not consume any special weapon energy. Pretty damn useful. Ready. So here we are at level 2. All of those pesky little grade ranking things are gone. This might actually be a pretty short episode, because this is a fairly short level. Um, we were already in part two, and it's actually not that long. We just have to take these things out. Uh, if you switch on the... Stepping on the switches uh, changes the gravity. I don't know if there's a way you're really supposed to get past this. I, I just kind of take the hit. It's not that much. There are these things that are infinitely spawning, I'm pretty sure. And, uh, yeah, I think... Really not so hard. Okay, we saw there, there's a little... Um, that ball drops and it destroys those little hologram thingies. See, they're on the ceiling. We just press the switch, and... There we go. The puzzles in this game are not really that hard at all. And look at that, we're already at the boss. Now, just like with Split Mushroom, I'm going to show you how hard this guy is without his weakness. For me, he's freaking out. I'm impressed you made it this far. But you can't beat me. Get ready. Short, sweet, and to the point. So he will teleport around the room and, you know, damage you. Ah. He'll try to damage you via proximity or at the end of the day. He's not even using his actual attack. Uh, or he will, like, 
And then he walks onto you and shoots misses at you. Um, when he spawns on you, he will either like spread out his little peacock wings and a little energy thing and hit you with that, or he'll jump off and do that. Yeah, he really does not want to use this. Energy. No, there it goes. See? Yeah. I mean, I already accept that I've lost. So he destroyed me. This is kind of the first instance of uh, weaknesses being different for X and Zero. His weakness with Zero is this little flame uppercut thing. With X, it's uh, the weapon you get from Split Mushroom, Soul Body. So yeah, two completely different weaknesses. And I will actually get into that while I'm fighting him. The, um, well, the ability we got from Split Mushroom that does not have a weakness when we're playing a zero. It's not effective against any boss at all. And a few weapons are like that. As I will show. And there's actually another boss, which we'll fight pretty soon, who gives a weapon that has no combat ability and is actually just an air dash. There's no possible way it can be with this. And it's just kind of a little design flaw. This is fixed in X5 and Honor of Death, with uh, all of us sharing weakness between X and Z. And look at that. The tables have turned, you stupid peacock. Ha ha ha. Seriously, I don't think you feel the need to do that stuff with Zero's moves. No, Giga Attack button on the ground. Giga Attack button is R2. Giga Attack is also how you pull off the little armor thing for Axe. Yep, Tucker White will explain it if you're playing his Axe. The ultimate special attack that channels all stored energy into one blast. Use this move selectively as it consumes energy. It's the only one of Zero's moves that consumes energy. I got a message from Rappaforce. Zero, I'll be at the Memorial Hall. Be Don't go, Zero. Don't fight him. This is a matter of personal pride now. There's no avoiding this. I must go. I see, you thought we were done for this episode. Nope. Well, probably didn't because you're looking at the time code. Uh, anyway, yeah, we have a fight with Colonel. I'm disappointed in you, Colonel. What do you think you're doing? It's not too late. Stop the coop now. Never. If that's your decision. Prepare yourself! Very well then. I'll spare your life for now. But next time, there'll be no mercy. Zero, please, don't fight with my brother. If you do, I'm afraid that one of you may end up... Someone must stop Repliforce. Zero! Oh my god, wasn't that just the best fight scene ever? How they just clashed their swords like two or three times. Oh my god. Best fight scene ever. Hands down. 
Okay, in all seriousness, though, that was actually pretty cool. I, I, I don't know why exactly, it just is. Um, anyway, yeah, that happens when you defeat four out of four, four out of eight Mavericks. Um, happens with both X and Zero, although with X, you get an actual fight with Colonel. Yeah, you have to actually fight him. I would go over this fight, but I won't because we will actually be fighting Colonel later, and the boss you would have fought as X is just a weaker version, so I'll just go for the stronger version. Anyway, that's that. See you next time.